Do you like chocolate? I like chocolate. How about Hershey's? Oh my gosh. Cocoa futures are through the roof, you guys. You might have heard the news. They're higher than the price of copper. Is it time to be looking at Hershey's stock or is it still too early? That is the topic of today's value investing video. Let's get right into it. Here is a look at the weekly chart for Hershey's ticker symbol HSY, a nice ramp up on that stock from $101 many years ago up to $270 in May of 2023. And then it started succumbing to inflationary pressures. Hershey's announcing some job cuts and corporate restructuring to try and address that. And then the double whammy of cocoa prices going through the roof. Let's talk about those cocoa prices. What's going to happen with Hershey's over the next year? And if there might be a potential play we could start looking at here, if you have a one, two or three year outlook for Hershey's. With cocoa prices pushing up over $10,500 per metric ton, it is no surprise that Hershey's stock price has been under pressure as cocoa consists of about one fifth of the company's cost of goods. And in recent earnings calls, management at Hershey's has said that they expect earnings in 2024 to remain relatively flat as they deal with not only the inflationary pressures affecting consumer purchases, but these high input cost of the cocoa beans. The price of chocolate products on retail shelves had already been on the rise thanks to inflationary pressures that everybody is dealing with. And when families are making choices about buying food versus sweets, a lot of times they're going to choose to feed their family with real food and maybe the chocolate gets a little bit less dollars allocated to it. But then we had the issue affecting the cocoa beans. And as we see here in Barron's, this article is from a couple months ago, 70% of the global cocoa supply comes from West Africa. Heavy rains in the region during the 2023 growing season escalated the spread of two infectious diseases and cut into crop yield. Then on top of that, El Nino brought strong winds into the region that dried out many cocoa pods. We're probably going to have to deal with inflation for the rest of this year. So that's one thing we need to think about as we're thinking about Hershey or a potential investment in Hershey. But the other thing that I'm thinking about and I want to be early on is what is going on with cocoa prices. We have an update from Citibank analyst just today, about an hour ago as a matter of fact, saying that they see the three month price of cocoa going as high as potentially $12,500 per metric ton and they are saying they are bearish. In other words, the price is going to go up in the short term. However, there is potential for a steep price unwind into next year if the supply demand fundamentals deteriorate further. They go on to close out the article by saying that prices will generally peak in the second quarter and could enter a bear market by early 2025. That bear market is what Hershey is waiting on because that will improve their margins as the price of cocoa comes down. Hershey's is down 27% over the last 12 months, even as the spy has gone up over 30%. A lot of this due to the price of cocoa here recently. However, the prices of cocoa are masking what is otherwise a generally healthy business over at Hershey. Sales grew by just over 7% in 2023 to 11.2 billion and the company said it expects revenues to grow by 2.5% at the midpoint of its guidance range this year. Business in the U.S. has been strong. Hershey saw only a mild decline in the number of confectionery items sold, even as it raised prices, while salty snack volumes, mostly from Skinny Pop, grew. With today's price hovering around $182, Hershey's is trading at about 19 times forward earnings, well below its five-year average of 23.6 times earnings. Traditionally, due to Hershey's high quality and predictability of earnings, it typically trades at a premium to both the S&P 500 and to other staples. Right now, now in 2024, it is trading at a discount to both. Now, having listened to what we just went through, you might think it's all bad news, right? It just sucks to own Hershey's, but Hershey's has over 1 billion in annual free cash flow. The company is repurchasing stock. It bought back $25 million worth of shares in the fourth quarter and still has $370 million remaining in its share repurchase authorization. In addition, Hershey's pays a dividend 
and that dividend has grown every single year for 48 years. All that being said, I'm putting Hershey on my watch list. You might want to do the same. Start doing your own due diligence. Let me know if you have questions or comments down below. Commodity prices need to cooperate for Hershey to start going back up. If cocoa prices come down, they say here, you'll see investors step in, long only investors wanting to buy more of this stock. Knowing from that commodity report that just came in today from the Citibank analysts that the price of cocoa could even go up still higher over the next three months, it's hard looking at the chart to know exactly where the bottom is going to be on Hershey stock. So use caution if you're deciding to enter the play right now. I'm definitely adding Hershey to my watch list and maybe it's something that you want to consider adding onto your watch list as well as a potential value play. If this stock is of interest to you, join me here live on May 3rd. I will be hosting the Q1 earnings call live here on the channel in the morning on May 3rd. I am Tony DeNaro. Thank you for watching as always and I will see you on the next video.